we are up to 123 in the Chavetz Chaim. Can one tell members of a community, family, school, or organization that others spoke against their group? Does it help if the members joke about it themselves? So can you make fun of yourself? And then, therefore, other people can go speak about a family, a group, or organization who also speaks about themselves. Or Bechlal, can you, is it, is it uh, you're allowed to speak about a group? You're not speaking about, what's the Shiley? You're not speaking about an individual. You're speaking about a group. So kind of, it's not a person, right? Says the Chafetz Chaim, it is forbidden to relate to a member of a community, family, or organization that someone spoke cynically of his group. So now we're talking about the Rechilas. You're not allowed to say that some, you tell somebody, someone spoke about your group or your family. And if you do so, and it's Rechilas. This is true even when members of that community, family, or organization even joke about themselves. It is common for people to poke fun at themselves, yet they're offended when others make similar comments or remarks. The same applies regarding a school. You know, people always, you know, you make jokes about your own school a lot of times. Yeshiva, blah, blah, blah. But then when other people say it about you, or you're about your yeshiva, you take big offense. Hey, don't, uh, right? Well, not my yeshiva. Therefore, mentioning to students that someone spoke negatively of their school is speaking rechilas. It should be noted that joking about one's own school generally involves Lush and Hara, or at least a 